Welcome back. Our primary election coverage continues. We're also focusing tonight on the race for mayor of Hazleton. Now the incumbent Republican Jeff Cassatt is seeking another term and running unopposed. On the Democratic side, the race is now between Vianney Castro and Robert Yevac. Here's a look at the top votes so far. It's a close race, but it looks like Robert Yevac currently leads that race. And 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Emily Allegrucci has been covering the Hazleton mayoral race and she joins us live from Hazleton with the latest. Emily. Good evening, Nick. I'm reporting from the Pines in Hazleton where Mayor Jeff Cassatt's watch party is just wrapping up. Now, the Hazleton primary race for mayor is still on, but upon peaking, speaking to Mayor Cassette's team and hearing their calculations, it seems as though the Republican mayor may be facing Democratic candidate Vianney Castro come November. Now, nothing is official and the race is still anyone's. During today's race, Mayor Cassatt ran unopposed, but there were two Democratic candidates, Bob Yvac and Vianney Castro. Mayor Cassatt, although a Republican, also had his eyes on the Democratic nomination, hoping to win both sides today as a write-in. Whichever Democratic candidate comes out on top will face Mayor Cassatt in the general election come November. Earlier today, I was able to speak with Mayor Cassatt and Bob Yvac, and they shared their goals for Hazleton. We're financially sound. Our recreation department is second to none. Our streets are getting repaired. Our police department's doing a wonderful job. So we just want to continue the progress. My place is, I'm here all my life. I made a lot of money in this city. This city was good to me. It's my turn to give back to the city, and I will give it 1,000% to make it the best place to live. Now, as previously mentioned, nothing is finalized and this is still anyone's race. Stick with Eyewitness News to see the latest on your local elections. Nick, back to you. Emily, interesting results so far. Thanks for the update.